What is up YouTube? It is Bunny Films and we are back with a brand new video in Cruise Ship Tycoon and I know you guys do like this game. I see all of your comments and it is always awesome to see your feedback. In today's video we are not going to be doing that much sailing. Instead we're going to go ahead and begin ourselves a new construction project. I want to go ahead and build ourselves an atrium because there's so recently I found out that there's um, a maximum amount of cu um, customers, a maximum amount of passengers you can have on a ship, with, which is 250. And right now I have about 200-ish. So we have tons of space to work with to add more cabins. So what I want to do is, do, uh, with the extra space we have, I want to create myself an atrium. So I think this is going to be an open air atrium, and if you don't know what it is, it's just basically a large room with open space. Um, it could be indoors or outdoors. Uh, cruise ships typically have these, um, and yeah. So, for starters, we're going to head into edit mode, and here's all this empty space I have here. I'm going to fill this up with all these different cabins. I'm probably going to do mini suites, and then regular suites, and then up here, uh, we have the brand new suites that were recently just at, or yeah, were recently added. And then up here, we have some more cabins, and then more cabins up here, too. So for the atrium, it's going to be in this area right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into build, we're going to go into floor, select open, and all of this is going to go. Well, that's a problem. We have to get rid of these things, too. Oh, look how fancy that is. Very fancy. So we're, we do have a lot of money to work with. We have upwards of $540,000, which is going to be great. Next up, let's go ahead and destroy all these rooms down here like that. There we go. And then the floor, it's not going to be too bad. And then we're going to go ahead, go down a level, build floors here we go we're already in that tab we're going to select all of this and then maybe that um let's go over two more i believe actually three more we'll go right here like that so we're basically we're creating a huge hole in the ship and then this is going to allow us to build our little atrium and then we are going to try to work around that and fill it in with rooms and other fun things next up let's go ahead and remove this is going to be a massive atrium we're going to destroy all oh nope Come on, trying to select all of this. There we go, destroy all that, there we go. And then if we go down here, this is going to be the base level because I don't want to have an atrium that's too big. But as you can see, it is quite large already. And what I plan on doing, we're gonna fill this space in with all sorts of fun things. We're gonna have pools, hot tubs, etc. It's basically going to be the home of all the entertainment. Secondly, we do have to get rid of all these little dividers. I think I'll have to like single-handedly click every single one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that later on. Let's hop out of remove and then we're going to go down here. And yes, we do have just doors that lead out to nothing. So we will have to take care of that as well. But for starters, let's go down to this deck right here. We're going to go ahead and begin starting with the bottom. We're going to create some nice grass. And then because this is like a little nature area, entertainment, etc. We're going to put down some grass right here like that. There we go. And then let's remove this, this, this. And that, there we go. And there's all sorts of fun things I do want to do with the game once we're able to have fleets of ships. Because one of the things I do want to do, in all honesty, is I want to create a pancake ship. Literally, it's like I remove all the levels. I don't know if that's even possible. But that's not possible, never mind. But that would have been so fun, though. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and remove this room right here and right here. There we go. And then I'll just, I'll keep those walls for now. And then the same for over here. We're going to go ahead and remove all of this. And then tables are going to go for now. Just for the sake of things. There we go. Done. And then we're going to get some rubber down. I think that would look nice with this grass. Um, we're going to go ahead and, oh boy, my camera. This is laggy. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go ahead and slide this down like that. There we go. Select that tile there. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. And then we're going to go ahead and slide that here like that. And then down the middle, we will create a nice little pathway. I think we can do it like this, potentially. I think that might be too wide, though. Oh, my goodness, this lag. Okay, let's go ahead and get our marble back down right here. Come on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why it's lagging so much. Um... I don't know, but I think it's just because I'm using OBS and then playing this game at the same time. But now that we have our little atrium created, I'm actually going to go ahead and make this a bit more narrow just because, um, yeah, it'd look a bit nicer with that. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And now we have a lot of more space to work with and it looks a bit nicer. We're going to go ahead and create a wall. We're going to use the new doorway. We're going to place this right here like that. There we go. 
and then like that. And then we're going to get a few middle pieces. Let's just slide over there like that. And, oh, no, escape, or how do I cancel? I don't know. Right click, there we go. And slide this across like so. There we go. And now that registers as an indoor room. And now we have the indoor wallpaper, which is fantastic. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add some, oh boy, not that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that really quickly. There we go. We're going to go ahead and fix that floor up right now. I'm going to close the chat for now. But we are joined by a few fans, um, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that like so. And then we're going to get a wall, one of these. And actually, no, we're just going to destroy this because this is like a little walking area, I suppose. And yeah, let's go ahead. And we're going to get down a few windows. We're going to choose this one right here. Or we're going to place it right here. Actually, yeah, we're gonna, it's fine. And right there. So, yes, that is the bathroom. Uh, I guess you'll just get a better view. I, I don't know. Wait, actually, no, you won't because there's a stall wall there. Okay, that's great. So, uh, that, that worked out perfectly. Now, we're going to go ahead, head into build, and food furnishings. Yes. So, the entertainment's very important, but we're going to do that later. Instead, we need to go up a deck, and then we need to somehow figure out what we're going to do up here. Let's get rid of all these little dividers that were from the cabins and mini suites. Let's go ahead and get rid of this table here because this is going to be some sort of walking area. And let's get rid of these too so it doesn't obstruct the NPCs. And let's just continue destroying these. I wish I could just multi-select them like all the other items, but it's all right. Okay. And let's go up one more deck. And as you can see, we don't really need to do anything here. I'm going to go ahead and destroy all this here. There we go. And then... If we head down here, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to remove these two taco places. Actually, should I? I don't know. We're going to destroy that from that. Uh, that's for certain. And that and that. There we go. Um, do I have room down here for more taco places? I think we'll, I don't know. We'll see. So for now, let's go ahead and we are going to remove the taco place. Well, actually, no, we're just going to, yeah, we're going to remove it. Okay. I'm just going to get this over with. Let's slide that like that, 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 and that. There we go. And now let's go ahead and just select, um, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll just do it like that so far. And then we're going to fill in all the space later on. I just want to go ahead and slap down the floor really quickly. We're going to do some rubber. And, oh my gosh, this lag is unbearable. It makes me so, it's so difficult when you're trying to build the flag. I, I've never had to deal with this, but oh well. Okay, so now that that's like that, let's go ahead and... Come on, I, it's because like I'm trying to do controls and then at the same time it's not registering my clicks properly and everything's like has like a half of a second delay, not very fun to deal with. So for food, I think we're going to do a taco stand except we're going to have to remove these bathrooms right here. There we go and just slide these over, get rid of the plants too. There we go. And I, d I didn't even intend to put that rubber floor there in the middle of all the uh, tile and whatever. So that's a bit annoying. Let's go ahead. We're going to put a taco place right here. And right here like that. There we go. And then walls. Uh, actually, if we do this. So we're going to go ahead and get down a few picture windows instead. We're going to put these right here like that. There we go. And then do the same over here. We'll actually slide it down like that. And then we can go ahead and add one of those fancy doorways. I'll just do the middle part for now. Just one piece there. And then if we slide over, we'll go to the arching part. We'll slide this here and slide that there. And I'm not sure if these like building videos are all that fun, but I really do enjoy building because it's fun to experiment with different things and stuff. Let's go ahead and get our glass door. We're going to put this right here and put this right here like that there we go and as you can see it's indoor now so it looks all fancy and schmancy let's go ahead we're going to destroy this door really quickly just because that's um in front of a table we're going to replace this door back over here like this so it's symmetrical and then we're going to get down a few walls and just close this little restaurant off like so and then let's go ahead and patch this floor up because we don't want that rubber tile there okay so it's looking nice so far. I'm really happy with it. And we are going to do all sorts of fun things with the floor in a moment. But right now, we need to go ahead and head to floors. Again, rubber. And we're going to slide this down. I'm just trying to get down the base, uh, the basic things first before we do um, any of the furnishing and stuff like that. Because, yeah. Let's go ahead and get down ourselves a door. Actually, we'll do a glass door. That's a bit fancy. We'll put that right there. There we go. Head down a deck. We'll do another glass door right there like that. And then... 
I, I'm planning on putting some restaurants in here. I think that would look quite fun. So that's what we what we are going to do. We're going to destroy all that there and all that there. There we go. And then floors. We're going to do room. Oh, wait, no, not rooms. Uh, food. There we go. Um, I think we're just going to do the taco stand. Yes, we do have a bunch of these already. But at the same time, um, yeah, why not? So let's get the taco places down. And then for floors, we'll go ahead and substitute this for some rubber. And then, actually, if I can fit in a staircase up here, I think that's what I... No. Oh, well. We're going to do some staircases in front instead. I think that will look quite nice. Oh, I didn't mean for a floating floor. Come on. Deck down. Thank you. Because I'm, I'm like, clicking deck down, and then when I move my cursor, it thinks I'm placing a floor. So, eh, not fun. But let's head into stairs. Let's go to... Uh utilities there we go outdoor staircase i really like how the staircase looks it goes really well with the build and if we head up here it looks nice so far we do have to put in a few floors and i thought i removed that floor apparently not so i might have removed a different thing instead i don't know but we'll do it like that and then we're going to get down a few floors some more rubber we'll place that right there right there there we go and then up here we'll place that there and there like so and then we're going to remove this we're going to remove this. Remove. I think that's going to be stuck there. Um, alrighty. So next, we're going to go ahead and do some more stairs, except... Oh boy, this lag still. Let's go ahead and head into utilities. Outdoor staircase. And then, I think we're going to just put another one down right here, just so that there's like a lot of... Um, room for the NPCs to walk around and easy access and then yes we do have to fix that little gap there I'm gonna do that now let's head in back into floors rubber slide this across like that place that there there we go and then we'll go into walls actually we'll place the railings down later once we know for certain what we're doing and then mm, wait build we're gonna get down a few more floors let's do one two three four like that Four. And then for that little area here, we're going to add some chairs and everything so it looks a bit nice. And yeah, so that looks very, very good so far. And then if we head up another deck, uh, we have more rubber uh, room to work with. Or rubber room, <laughs> no. Um, we're just going to slide this across like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with the floors, except we're going to extend this out five. There we go. Looking very good so far. And then I wish I could go up a deck and place more floors across, but apparently I cannot. So that's a bit um, sad, but uh, we still have a very, very nice atrium coming along so far. Uh, we can actually go ahead and before we do begin placing railings and furniture, let's try to get in one more staircase, which I think we're going to place right here. So head back into build. Ah! Oh my goodness, I can't even remove it, it's so laggy. Maybe if I head up a floor, maybe. Ah, I can't even remove this floor because it's so glitched. Okay, um, we're going to go back into, I, I'm probably when I rejoin it will remove itself, but let's head down a deck, down one more deck, there we go, and we'll place that right there, right there, right there, and right there, there we go, and then if we go up the deck, there we go, I'm going to go ahead and just... Can I literally not remove... Why can't I remove these floors? Is it literally that bugged? I'm just going to look at the developer console. And this is not an exploit. It is just press F9 on your keyboard and you'll be able to see it. I literally can't... Oh, wait. no. Oh, that's why. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm dumb, dumb. Big dumb, dumb. <laughs> you need to use air floors. You can't... Wait. I don't know. I don't know. I wish it wasn't like that, but I suppose it is, so... Whoops. Okay. So for these, I'm actually going to press undo. I do have to move these back one tile, all these staircases, because there's sort of a little gap. And then we're going to go ahead and fill this in with air. There we go. Head up a deck. Fill this in with air. There we go. Okay. So now that we're finished with that, press done. There we go. And head back into utilities. We're going to get some more outdoor staircases down. Instead, we're going to go place them right there. And as you can see, if I did place it right there, there would be a little gap. Now, I don't want that little gap there. I don't want any inconsistencies with the um, build quality. So now that that's like that, we're going to go ahead and press done. 
floors, we're going to get down one more open air tile. We're going to place that there so people don't hit their heads like me. Um, place that there and there like that. And finally, we're going to get down some more rubber floors. We're going to place like two right there, two right there. Um, oh, actually, I have an idea. Uh, slide this all the way across like that. And then what we are going to do, do it like that, that. And voila, like that. Perfect. That looks very nice so far. I like this. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do um, a... Ah, meant to press done. Okay, we're going to do some open floors. Instead, we're going to go ahead and do it like that. And that. This. And that. This. There we go. And then we are going to get a few more rubber tiles down. And I think that should be done for the flooring. We've been doing a lot of it lately. And let's go ahead and just do this and that. Perfect. So, is this actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so it is almost uh, like a literally, I, I don't know. But it looks good so far. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place down our railings. So we're going to head back into walls. And what railings would look good? I think, I mean, it's either the railing or the glass railing. Um, I think we're just going to do uh, glass railing just because it's very nice. And we're just going to basically place railings everywhere. There's a place where NPCs can fall, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to go all the way around. There's a lot of railings that need to be placed. But we have $635,000 after selling all those rooms. and Oh, dang it. Uh, all those rooms and everything. So let's go ahead and continue doing that. And I don't know if you guys do enjoy these building videos, um, like I was talking about earlier. It's just a bit of me rambling along, building things. But I mean, I really do like building it, and I just want to document it because it's a fun process, in my opinion. Others might not think it's entirely fun, but it does give you guys some good ideas on things you can do for your ship, and just some tips and tricks. So if we head down a de uh, deck, let's go ahead and get down this glass railing right along here. I'm actually going to place that there. There we go. And then over here, we'll slide this like that. And then all the way across. There we go. And then right here, like that. And then we'll do the same over here. And that all the way down. All the way right here. And then I'm going to place that right there, like so. So this looks very nice so far. I'm happy with how it's been turning out. Next, we're going to go ahead, head down. I'm going to place a little railing here just for the sake of things. Just so it looks a bit nice. There we go. And yeah, let's go ahead and before we do continue with building. Wow, this looks very nice. I really like how this turned out. But as you can see, this huge open space. I'm I'm really excited with this. I'm really I really like it. Okay. So it looks great so far. And then if we do have time, I might do this in the next video. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and remodel this little um, section of the ship and then remodel this one as well. I just don't think we'll have time in today's video because we're almost near the 20 minute max. And the reason I keep videos under 20 minutes is just because it's easier for me to... Oh, oh wait, people are chatting in the chat. Um, uh, I do, I do, do, but can't in this game. Okay. Um, okay, so sorry for having the chat close. We're going to head down here. Actually, no. Before we do, we're going to place down a few tables. Uh, actually, yeah, personal tables and um, actually sunbeds specifically because those are those give you a lot more space to work with. We're not going to place these there by the stairs, which I was originally anticipating to do so. But what we can do is place that right there, there. Yeah, that's all we can do, really. Um, I mean, I suppose we could put down a few regular sunbeds like that. I guess. <laughs> and then we can go up here. And then this can be furnished later. Actually, no, we'll furnish it now. So we'll have some parasol tables. We'll put down... Um, actually, no. We'll do the uh, sunbeds instead. Just because um, they have better dimensions to work with. And let's go ahead and place that there. And then do the same right here. And then in the middle, where there's that little gap, we'll go ahead and just place down a few uh, regular chairs. So it does go nicely. Like that. And like that, perfect. And I do plan on furnishing it a lot more later. But we're going to get down a few plants as well. Let's get down some ferns, and then we'll get down some of this stuff. Just for the variety, and we'll rotate it. There we go. And yeah, let's go ahead and head down here to the grass level. And we're going to get down some basic activities and entertainment. For starters, we're going to get down our hot tubs. We're going to do the uh, square ones. 
Actually, no, we're not doing hot tubs. We're going to put those somewhere else in the ship. Um, let's see. Giant chest, very important. Let's get some of this down. We'll put it under the stairs like that. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make this symmetrical. So we're going to go ahead and do it like that. And then some shuffleboard. That's a very fun game. That's what it was called. I forgot about it earlier. Uh, we'll place it like that. And that. There we go. And then what else? What else is there? We could do a pool, but at the same time, that would sort of interfere with the rooms below. Um, I think that would be okay, though. 3x4x4, uh, four four, or I think... Um, I guess... Oh, yeah, there's no room on the deck below. What we can do... Actually, no. Hold on. 4x7. Um, hmm. Now, I think, I think we'll just stick with this one. I mean... Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't want to take up too much space, and we do have to go below deck and remove this cabin right here, sadly. Uh, but if we head back up here, we'll go ahead and just place down the pool. I need more room. I guess I'm just going to remove all the decks, or all the rooms down here, and then I'll just replace them off camera or in the next video, which I probably will start recording right after this one. So now, there we go, we have our pools, and... Uh, yeah, it looks very nice so far. Let's get down a few plants really quickly. Uh, we'll get down some of this stuff. I like the, uh, this one, whatever it is, uh, a lot more than the other one. But I wish there were more alternatives just for the sake of variety and everything. But maybe in the future we'll get a few more. Wait, okay. I do have to fix the floor over here too. Let's go ahead and just place that there like that. And then we'll go down to floors, get some rubber floors, and just slide those over here. Yes. Um, I cannot follow while in game so i think i am going to end today's video here so if you did enjoy make sure you do hit that like button and also consider subscribing because i make daily content every day i hope you do have a fantastic day and this game should be free to play by the time you are watching this if you want to play it i will have a link to it in the description below have a fantastic day everyone and i'll see you in the next video goodbye